Okay, so I'm on my 2016 Triumph Bonneville T100 and I've owned it for about five months now. Put on about a thousand miles, not a lot of miles, and you will find out why I haven't been doing so much riding since I've gotten it in a second. Um, so I'm just going to give a long-term review coming from a short rider. I am 5'3", and I'm not a bodybuilder. I'm 108 pounds. Um, probably can't even bench lift that much. And my rider level skill, I would say, is the start of intermediate. So before I had this bike, I had a Suzuki S40 Boulevard, and that was my first bike. It was a one-cylinder 650cc, 384 pounds and I owned it for a little over a year put about 3,500 miles on it um, as far as skill learning uh, I started out with the MSF course to also took the advanced course and also did a moto officer slow speed skill course I took that six times in one summer um, so I really tried to learn how to ride well and get good skill. Now that you know that, you can judge or listen to my opinion accordingly. Um, when I first test rode this bike, the reason I uh, upgraded to this bike instead of another cruiser, I had considered the Indian Scout 60. I loved that bike for the longest time. I thought it was going to be my next bike when I first got my S40 Boulevard. But, um, I don't know. Just the more I started riding. And, uh, I just didn't want another cruiser as my next bike. At least not one that looked like a cruiser. Because this is, according to the Nata Guide, a cruiser. So I had also considered the Yamaha XSR 700 because I fell in love with the looks of the 900, that aluminum chrome, that aluminum body with the burgundy seat. It was so pretty. So I considered that too, but the XSR 700 isn't coming to America until uh, I think 2018. Um, and it has the same engine as the FZ07, which I've test ridden before and I thought was okay. Um, whoa! <laughs> and some other bikes that look like this, that I considered, um, I did consider the Ducati Scrambler, um, but I test rode it and it had less features. The engine was so hot that it literally was hurting my legs. It, it, was, it wasn't like uncomfortable. It was painful. And I was like, um, and that, that was just, I was not willing to put up with that in a $9,000 bike. And then some other bikes, a lot, of, a lot of you guys mentioned to me too that were similar to it. Like, uh, I can't remember all the names right now. So I'll just put the pictures up right here on the screen. So, the dilemma I was faced with was if I wanted to upgrade from that S40, um, I would either get a cruiser that was going to be a lot heavier in weight, unless I got a Harley, which I didn't want to do, or a sport bike, and at the time I didn't want to do a sport bike either. So anyways, overall, I really like this bike. It's really smooth, it's really good quality, it's got great features. I love that you have a button on the dash that you can toggle between the time, the odometer, um, of your trip range, two different trip ranges. One you can save for the last time you lubed your chain, another one just how much gas you have left. It has a gas light, so if you get low that's great. It has a an uh, oil level light so if it gets low that's great it'll tell you um, it has a bright light it doesn't have emergency lights which I thought was kind of odd but whatever so it's got some pretty good features like it won't start if the kickstand is down 
and you've got an easy way to check your brake fluid levels there's a window up right in front of this little thing um, and there's a window for your oil levels so you can check that pretty easily too I mean this bike is really comfortable it's gorgeous um, but my biggest problem with the bike this bike and who I would not recommend it to is I would not recommend this bike to small riders that don't have advanced level skills I have definitely seen some little riders whipping around a ginormous bike especially if it has a lower seat height but because i am small because i'm a short rider i'm not i have a 31 inch inseam so i'm not quite tiptoeing this bike but i am uh i'm not totally flat footed and that takes the ease of control out of the equation so even though on my S40 with a really low seat height where I was flat footed and it was only 384 pounds, I would all but passed the dropping my bike phase within the first few months of having it. When I got this bike, it was like I had gone a few steps backwards in skill level. Um, because it was heavier, this is 501 pounds wet, the seat height's a little higher. Um, when I first the first few months well I'm in the first few months of this bike I've dropped this bike a lot uh, and I thought I was past that stage um, but I would not say this bike is easy to ride you either need to be a lot taller like mm, at least five six to give to give you more of a bend in the knee which helps with control um, and also have um, a little more skill than I do which is I would say like upper level at intermediate to advanced rider because I've been struggling with this spike a lot um, like I said it was like I dropped in skill yeah that's the only downside to this bike is I would say it's um, difficult for shorter people um, because it's so heavy and uh, your set center of gravity isn't very low. Now, if you absolutely love these classic Triumph models, I have test ridden other classic Triumph model models. I don't know if I'll have those videos out by the time I have this one out. If I do, I'll link to them in the description. Um, if I don't, just wait for it because they're, they're coming soon. But if you love Triumph Classic models and you're short and the Triumph Bonneville is too big for you, don't worry, I have a solution for you. The Triumph Street Cup or the Triumph Street Bobber. Whoa, fancy! Those bikes, I love those bikes. I test rode them on a demo day at Hourglass Cycles in Buford. I mean, they have the gorgeous looks, and they're about 50, 60 pounds lighter, and their seat height is lower. On the bobber, I was completely fat, flat-footed, and on the street cup, I was almost totally flat-footed. Um, but I love those bikes. The street, the Triumph Street Cup right now is my dream bike. Um, but the Bonneville model has been around for decades, whereas the street cup and bobber. Uh, have not so the only the downside to that is you're not gonna find you may not find a, a used one for um, a low price with the Bonneville you can find plenty of older models so you can get a nice Bonneville um, for under eight thousand dollars definitely but for the street cup and street bobber not right now maybe wait a couple years few years before you can do that so overall, I really like this bike. Don't get me wrong. This is a gorgeous bike. It's great quality. It's got great features. It's well made, but it's just not the perfect bike for me. If I had it my way, I would get the Triumph Street Cup right now. That's what I would have. 
so uh but you know price is an issue um so i've been looking at sport bikes because that is that would match my uh weight they don't match my style but you know what i just want to ride and that's more important than looks that's not what i thought when i got this bike that's why i have a bike that's too big for me but if you are taller than me stronger than me or even just have more advanced riding skill than i do you will not be disappointed with this bike i also made a walk around review of this bike so if you want to see that i'll have the link for that in the description too anyways i hope that helps if you end up getting the bonneville or if you end up getting something else let me know in the comments i want to know what you think of this bike or if you didn't get it what did you get instead and why okay bye